episode 46 of the BK Lounge, uh, Daily Dollar Short. So I've been uh, busy yesterday, also power outage problems, and I'm having them again this morning, so who knows what will happen. My, I was not charging my laptop at all, it's basically fucking dead. My dog's about to chew on the laptop. She's very cute, but she's a pisser and a shitter, a biter and a joker. I don't know. She's been getting buck wild. No, no. I saw a couple movies yesterday. To end the night, we saw uh, The Greatest Showman with Hugh Jackman about uh, P.T. Barnum. It's, it's kind of good. It's pretty interesting. Too many music, though. Too much music, though. It just ruins the story. It's like, why do you, Why? Especially after you look up pictures of P.T. Barnum, he looks fucked up. He looks like a wax figure that melted. And they have Hugh Jackman's Wolverine face playing him. And so, like, it looks... Okay, okay, I can see this guy being a singer and a dancer. Midgets on top of bar top. Zach Efron dancing and shit. Becoming a ringmaster. But then you look up pictures, it's like, these guys were fucked up. They were like, terrible. No. Little doggy sounds. Oh. So then, uh, so that's good. What else happened yesterday? Fucking. Uh, boy. This dog, I swear to God, speaking of circuses, she shits like a circus elephant. It's goddamn ridiculous. It's disgusting. And every time she does it, I hear the Quentin Tarantino sounds. Why do you have to do this to me? Whatever. Let's get to some news. Oh, oh, wait a minute. We didn't talk about this yet, did we? XXX Tentacion getting getting killed. How crazy is that? The weird the part about it is, is that I knew there was a time before he was famous, and he got famous, and now he's dead, like, in a very short amount of time. And it's just, it's so, so weird. I wasn't even that big of a fan, like, he's definitely talented. Look At Me is an awesome song. Like, that was, like, the one I really, really liked out of his whole collection. But, uh... It's pretty, it's pretty crazy. Uh-oh. And uh, I do feel bad for his family, for everybody. Cause I felt weird. I live in Pennsylvania. Like one, like majorly, like one of his songs. And then after that, it's just it's kind of in the ether. Although there was a song, oh, I think it's called Riot or something. That was pretty good. Maybe I'm wrong. But, uh, pretty insane. And for what? Like, who killed him? Although I did kind of hear about a theory that it was Drake. Ooh. Mysterious. It's an interesting idea. It's, it's just weird. Especially because, like, you see the videos. Um, I, I saw the videos, at least. And, like, I, I saw him, and I was like, no, nah, he's dead. There's n- there's no way you're reviving him. He's sitting up. All the blood went to his feet. Like, he's just there. And then, uh, you kind of, for a little bit, then you start to hear, like, uh, he's... he's He's at the hospital. He's 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 alive. Who knows? And then, and then they start rolling in that he's dead, and then it kind of becomes official. Really weird. But that sucks for all his friends and family. R.I.P. Condolences, all that good stuff. Now apparently. Some more bad news. Three-time Super Bowl winner Eric Williams' son charged with double murder. Okay. Cassius Shakembe Williams. That's a cool middle name. Cassius, I guess it would be, not Cassius. Cassius Shakembe Williams. 
He was set up to have a cool name. He's uh, the three-time Super Bowl winner champion, Eric Williams. Someone's arrested and charged with two counts of capital murder in connection with the shooting deaths of two people in a Dallas suburb. Oh, my God. Cassius Shakembe Williams, 20. Oh, my God. Another man, Rasman Rasan Shannon Jr., both of Garland, Texas, were charged in connection with the fatal shooting of Jacob Bradley Hallett, 19, and Dalton James Prater, 18. Texas Billboard tells liberals to keep driving until they leave the state. Okay. The two victims were both shot on June 12th in Mesquite, Mesquite? Uh, a Dallas suburb. Hallett was transported to the hospital where he died while Prater was found dead inside a pickup truck. TMZ reported that authorities alleged the victims were selling marijuana to Williams and Shannon before the suspects pulled out their guns and demanded the cannabis. Give me the cannabis. Motherfucker, hand over that cannabis. I want that good indica. God damn it. Yeah, I'm sure they were saying that. I demand the cannabis. Please hand over the cannabis or I will be forced to shoot. If convicted and uh, Williams and Shannon could face the death penalty, their bonds were set at $1 million each. Uh, Williams, like his father, went to Central State University in Ohio and played college football for one season. Let me see. Let me see what this guy looks like. Cassius Shakembe Williams. Is there really no pictures of him? Playing football? Football? Nothing? Already. Nothing. Uh, Eric Williams, an offensive tackle and three Super Bowl championships with the Dallas Cowboys, spent his final year in the NFL in the Baltimore Ravens. He was selected to four Pro Bowl games. Jesus Christ, that's nuts. All over a little bit of weed. The weed! Um... No. God damn all the death. WWE and WCW legend Vader, also known as Big Van Vader, has died. The pro wrestler whose real name was Leon White is 63. I'm going to I got to send this to my brother. White Sun posted the file into the account to a Sawyer account Wednesday. Oh boy, Vader's a big boy. It is with a heavy heart to inform everyone that my father, Leon White, passed away at Monday night, 6 18 18, approximately 7 25. Around a month ago, my father was diagnosed with pneumonia, a severe case of pneumonia. He fought extremely hard and clinically was making progress. Unfortunately, on Monday, his time, his night, on Monday night, his heart had enough, and it was his time. Big E says, Man, Vader was my guy as a child and was a sweetheart when he came down to FCW to help train us. I'm forever grateful for the conversations I was able to share with him. Condolences to Leon's son, Jesse, and the rest of his family. Bob Ray Dudley said, Rest in peace, big man. Get the fuck out. Devon said, My prayers and thoughts go out to one of the to the family of truly one of the greatest big men to ever step foot in the ring. Vader, my friend, may you rest in peace. Samoa Joe says, Rest in power, big man. A shame we never got to mix it up more. Wow, his, his hands are weird. 
McFoley. My heart is heavy with the news of the pa- of Leon White's passing. He was an amazing performer who brought out the very best in so many. Best big man ever. The most effective monster heel of his generation. My heart felt praise to his loved ones and my gratitude for having known knowing him. For having known him. I thought that's what I said, but I wasn't sure. Wow. And then the WWE sounded like a fucking robot. The WWE extends its condolences to White's family, friends, and fans. I know they got Howard Finkel to do it. Well, unfortunate. Oh, but speaking of uh, going on The Greatest Showman, there was this one girl. She had an apple. She gave it to the young Hugh Jackman. I want to know what the fuck was up with her. She looked wild. I couldn't even describe it. You got to look it up. Excuse me. She had big old fucking bug. She looks like she a human that came out of a bug's life. Ah! I'm gonna turn this shit down. Alright. Was the boy dead? Oh, yeah. It was shit. A child found dead on a Texas beach last October. Uh oh, I got a little voicemail. Let me read this shit. Ugh. You wanna. I'll trade my vehicle. Fuck you. A child found dead on a Texas beach last October has been identified by authorities and by the boy's mother and her girlfriend. And the boy's mother and her girlfriend are under arrest. Galveston police announced Wednesday authorities in Galveston had appealed to the public for help identifying in little Jacob, even taking the rare step in January of releasing a photo of the deceased child. God damn. So he was abused. Yeah, they look crazy. The mom and her girlfriend look fucking nuts. Insane. Insane. Alleged serial killer Kelly Cochran was like the devil in court. New documentary claims. Um, by the way, Preacher coming out on the 24th, I believe. So four days. I'm fucking pumped. That shit's gonna be awesome. So the first two seasons of Preacher, fire. So, looking forward to it. Definitely, it's on AMC, so definitely tune in. Terry O'Donnell instantly knew her ex-boyfriend, Christopher Regan, had gone missing. However, she was not prepared to discover he had been brutally murdered by his married mistress. The 55-year-old participated in a new documentary on investigation discovery titled Dead North, which she hopes she will shed light on the man she knew, not the tragic victim he became. The docuseries chronicles the investigation through shocking interviews, extensive body cam footage, and interrogation room conversations. Kelly Cochran, the alleged mistress, was sentenced to life in prison without parole in May 2017 after an Iron County... Michigan jury, Iron County, that sounds pretty cool, convicted her in the killing of Regan three years before. Cochran. All right, so then in April 2018, she was sentenced to 65 years in prison for slaying her husband, Jason Cochran. Cochran, then 35, told police she delivered an overdose of heroin to her husband at 37 and proceeded to put her hands on his neck, nose, and mouth until he died. Less than a minute later... Oh boy. As for Regan murder, Michigan prosecutors maintained she lured the 53 year old to her home where he, her, her husband shot him. Then they both dismembered him and hid his remains in the woods. Okay. That's insane. Alright, well, this, I don't want to read anymore about that. Michigan woman 
who lied about being raped on college campus, sentenced to jail. All right, hold on. I'm gonna before I read this, I'm gonna pause, save this, and then uh, get right back to it. Okay, so this Michigan woman who lied about being raped on college campus, sentenced to jail. Oh my god, that tickled. Um, Mary Zolkowski. 21, my age. What is every? What the fuck is up with these people my age? Uh, settle down. I was sentenced to 45 days in jail after pleading. Okay, that's not bad. 45 days in a cage. That's not bad. After pleading guilty to fabricating a story about being sexually assaulted in a parking lot at Delta, Delta College at Bay County, Judge Joseph Sheeran, who also ordered the woman to receive a mental health assessment, did not give Zolkowski credit for previous time served. Sharon deferred the woman to an additional 220 days in jail, which she'll ha- only have to serve if she violates probation. Okay, so just chill out for 45, be good for those for that probation, and that's it. According to the news outlet, she will be on probation for two years after her jail term. Solkowski will also have to be tested for drugs and alcohol and partake in substance abuse counseling. In March, Zolkowski reported reportedly admitted to making up the alleged rape, telling the judge, I called Delta College and falsely reported the rape on the campus. My mother made the initial call, and I took the phone and continued the report. The woman told her mother she had been raped in the in the back, in the back, in a back parking lot, but never named any suspects. She said that she was assaulted, assaulted previously at Delta College, not at Delta's campus, and was ashamed of the circumstances of that. So Kowski initially gave contradicting accounts of what she claimed happened at the school. She reportedly told police she was walking to her car when a man grabbed her from behind and raped her with a condom while holding her face and throat and said she only saw the man's hands and he fled in a car before she could see his face. So Kowski refused a physical exam after the alleged incident. The news outlet reported in August 2017. When investigators met with her, reportedly, well, the second time Zorkowski reportedly said the suspect was an acquaintance and she had been raped at an apartment. The students at the time apologized for her confession, adding she did not want to press charges. In a third interview with police, Zorkowski reportedly changed her story again, telling police she wanted to tell the suspect to stop during sex, but it ended before she was able to do so. So Kowski also pleaded to make up a false report on the felony, faced up to four years in prison and a thousand dollar fine. So this bitch nuts. She crazy. She cuckoo. And I'm gonna put it like this. All right, Jack. I'm gonna put it down on you like this. She's not a looker. She looks like a straight orange. She looks like an annoying orange. But um. Jesus Christ, what is the fuck is going on? Is this the end of the world? Officials, three dead and apparent murder-suicide in Walmart parking lot. What? What? Two women and a gunman. That sounded like fucking uh, King of the Hill. Two women and a gunman are dead following an apparent murder-suicide in a Walmart parking lot in Alabama Tuesday. Tallahassee Mayor John Hammock tells the station of tells the, 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 tells the station the gunman ran his car into another car in the parking lot of the store before getting out of and fatally shooting two women inside. The shooter then turned the gun on himself. Okay, so he rammed his car into the into these females, killed them with a gun. And killed himself. Now, he sounds like a bag of nuts. A nut bag, if you will. Uh, Hammock tells CBS News one victim and the shooter were found dead at the scene. A medical helicopter was called for the second victim, but she died in the vehicle. Okay, okay. That's going to be it. I cannot see one more goddamn thing about people being dead. I'm done. I'm out. Go in the description. Follow everything, please. This will be up ASAP. ASAP. And, uh... Oh.
Here, let me give you a little song on the on the exit. This one's called Drop Top Dreaming.